Right, so uh, how are we all doing? You all having a good night? Yeah, lovely. Who are the, the acting and the drama students? Just give us a little cheer. You there, you there. We've got you at the back with the boyfriend from Surrey um, with the lovely glasses. Um, so I actually, I actually did a full three-year acting degree in Lippe. Um, and this is, well, you, you boo, but this is how far it gets you. <laughs> so this is as good as it's ever gonna get for you. And although you're holding the card, you as well. So uh, hold it in if you can. Um, to, to be honest, I try not to live with any, any real regrets. To be, I, I, think, I don't think it's worth it. Or, however, I do live with my parents who quite literally live with their regrets. Um, <laughs> me, to be straightforward. The only regret I'd say I do have is uh, about a joke I told at a gig, an outdoor gig I did in Liverpool well into last year. Um, I, I had a fella approach me after the gig. It was only a little five minutes. It was similar to this one. Uh, he really wasn't happy with a joke I told, where I may or may not have, I did, uh, mention, mention cancer. Now, now he came, yeah, bear with, it did get better. Um, so he's come over, he, you know, he, he's approached me, really stern, you know, facial expression, quite confrontational body language, and as you can, I, it might be hard to tell, I'm not built for fighting. Um, so I tried to de-escalate the situation with jokes, made it worse. Um, He's come over, he said, I really wasn't happy with the joke. I asked him why, because I'm not a dickhead. He said he had a friend who died of cancer. Now, I, straight away, I was on the back foot. I asked him how long ago his friend died of cancer. He said 25 years. So I thought, well, stop milking it then, you know? <laughs> hey, get, you know what I mean? Get over it. Uh, he punched me in the face, punched me square in the fucking nose. Um, that's a true story. So I'm there, I'm trying to sort of wipe blood off my nose. And by the way, brand new t-shirt, which he ruined. Uh, very inconsiderate. Um, I'm there wiping blood off my face. And he's got him like right fucking next to me, clenched fist still. And said, that punch was for my fucking friend. So I'm there wiping blood. And I said, well, I think you need to work on your fucking aim then. <laughs> Pissing blood out my face. It, it was it was ridiculous. Anybody in here they uh, been suffering with hay fever this summer? Yeah. I think you all should die. Um, and I, no, I will. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why because you, as far as I'm concerned, anyway, are the weakest form of human being. Um, no, well, it's true. If you can be completely immobilised by someone cutting their front grass, you are not built to last. You know what I mean? You probably deserve to die very quickly. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's true. We all think it. I've just said it. Uh, and you've paid to watch it, so more fool you. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I actually, yeah, I've been single for a little while. I've been single since about last August. Hard to believe, I know. Um, which? No, uh, well, quieting down then. Uh, but yeah, been, been single since about last August, as I said. Incredibly hard to believe. Um, and we, it wasn't like a sad breakup or anything. It wasn't, it wasn't one of them. We were just sort of agreed. We were on very different pages in very different places. She thought that everything she said was on the money, dead on, couldn't be more right. I, on the other hand, thought that she was a cunt. Um, <laughs> so we parted ways after I, after I said that. Yeah, it was, um, we didn't agree on many things, but... Um, one thing that um, I've been doing lately, I've been reading a lot of those, you know, like the, they call them self-help books. It's like, you know, good vibes can save the world, good vibes can save a life. Um, and I was reading it, and there was actually a line, direct line in one of these books that said, good vibes can save a life. And as soon as I read that, I thought, you try giving that same advice on a chemo ward, you might not make it out <laughs> in very good shape. And that was the joke that, funnily enough, got me punched in the face. <laughs> so yeah, that was that one. Uh, yeah, it was rough, it was rough. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you one thing that does actually genuinely annoy me a little bit is um, it, it does get on my nerves. It's the way sort of, the way, the, the way politics in this country has made people who, um, who earn as little as in some cases seven pound an hour. It's made them turn against the homeless. Like they're just, they're just one step up from that. They earn very little money. And you, you see people on the street asking for money if you've got any spare change. And they always say things like, I had a friend said it the other week. Oh, Rich. Yeah, well, if you don't like it, go and have a ciggy. Yeah, yeah, just... Did anyone pay to come and see you talk? No? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, um, yeah. So anyway, uh, a friend of mine said the other week, 